Hey, hi, welcome guys. Uh, welcome to another session. Welcome to another market breakdown for the last week of October. Today is the 24th. And, uh, you know, I always bring you guys breakdowns, giving you guys literally um, what I think or where I, I, I'm seeing the market or my prospects for the market. Um, looking at DXY straight to the point, um, we've been seeing a very, very weak um, US dollar currency. Um, if I take it down up to the one hour time frame over there, we can clearly see that um, the dollar has been going up, you know, you know, it went up for a couple of months, creating consistent higher highs. But when it found itself around 94, uh, 567 resistance around here, I bring that zone out around here. Um, it literally uh, bounced off that resistance zone, and since then, it's 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 just been weak. It's just been it's just been dropping. It's just been dropping, and if you go back to daily time frame, you can actually see that um, an upward trend line that I put here has been broken, and this market is actually weak. If I scale it down to the one hour time frame over there, what do I see? This market is strapped into some sort of range. Um, it's been ranging since Thursday. Uh, I caught really you no know, since actually since Wednesday it's been ranging. I caught a couple of moves from here to here on Wednesday. Then I tried to get another move, catch another weak move, but it, it really wasn't good for me on Thursday. So I made some money and I left it at that. So right now, this market, uh, the dollar is actually trapped in this consolidation zone. is ranging, and we will only trade if we have movements, right? Based on counterpart trading, something that I teach on my um, program. So what are my expectations for this week? Um, market opens and the market is around here. Uh, you should be looking at 93,887 and 93,489, right? That's um, the area of uh, range that I'm looking at. And the market can do two things, right? Um, first off, um, each time market moves, you need to understand and uh, try to to see what market is doing based on historical data. So we have this little strong zone of support around here, um, you know, around the 93.513. And the market has touched it uh, three times. So we've had three touches in this market, in this market around this zone, just lock it up over there. One. So it's been one, two, and three. Um, so it's, 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 literally been bouncing off that area you know it's been bouncing touching it multiple times but yet uh i still see that weakness we have that moving average crossover coming in there and uh, for me i really don't know what the dog's going to do so these are my expectations for next week looking at this zone 93 87 93 49 the market could either go here do that retest and then continue or you could just do that you know um is the last week of the month the market tends to try to move a little bit in these um final weeks of the month um so market could either go up that way or come down that way either way we're going to react accordingly all right we're going to react accordingly because if you look at the overall structure of dxy overall structure this market is still an uptrend you know market structure is very very important and this uh, low hasn't been taken out. This low hasn't been taken out. The overall move is that the market is making higher highs. But we keep an open mind, right? We keep an open mind. So, guys, um, be on the lookout for DXY. Euro dollar. I'm looking at Euro dollar. Um, another pair that has been trending up in recent weeks based off of that dollar weakness. And it's also trapped, you know, in this zone of consolidation. Uh, what are my expectations? Um, it could it could do two things, right? The overall trend of this market is still bearish. Do not remember, do not forget that, right? It's still bearish from this um, resistance point to this point to this support point. Um, this market is trending on a daily chart, almost twenty three percent fib retracement. If I'm going to the one hour time frame, I'm trying to get under fib level. Let's say one hour time frame. If I measure from uh, this resistance over here. To the support i get like a 38.2 some sort of and this market is trying to do a you know deflect and come down probably 
So this market can do two things, right? Scale it down one hour time frame, you know. I only look at zones, I only trade zones, I only trade levels. You guys should be looking at uh, 1.16699 and 1.16169. So this market can do two things. It could either continue and break even this um, dominant upward or downward trend that we have and become an upward trend retest and then go that way, right? Um, obviously, if it does that, we react accordingly. If it comes down, we wait for retest and act accordingly, following the zones. You can come back to the video during the week and check it out. Final market that I'll be looking at, I'm breaking down for you guys, is pound dollar. Pound dollar overall, uh, overall pound dollar, um, overall kind of still in a downtrend because we still have a strong zone of resistance here that hasn't been taken out. Um, if I'm looking at the overall structure on a larger time frame, this market is a downtrend. It's trying to some sort of reduce, uh, resume the downtrend. But if I scale it down to a one hour time frame, it's kind of trapped in this zone. 1.38347 and 1.374430. Moving average crossover has, has happened. You know, the market is below the consolidation, um, uh, below the baseline. But I wouldn't just jump and sell, right? I want to see this before I sell. I want to see a break of the zone, we tested the zone, and obviously I'll be shorting to the next zone. But you guys, watch out for this zone 1.38347 and 1.37. 430 so guys that is it for today i wish you all a blessed week i wish you all success i wish you all the best i see traders markets and remember um the best traders are the most patient traders so be patient wait for your opportunity and make that trade take care goodbye